The iPhone 13, not the Pro, because I can't, I can't afford that. Please pay for my medical bills. <laughs> It's a pretty good budget phone, I'd say. It's pretty solid. It still currently is supported. It'll probably be supported for like another... Three years. Three years? You got, you got a while if you want to buy it now. So I've had this phone for a year, and uh, I'd say probably the best part about the entire thing is just that I like iOS. The camera's all right. Uh, it is not amazing. It is not the best, but it's not that bad. We shot most of our videos on this. You might notice that this is significantly better because we're using a several thousand dollar... Camera that's worth more than me and the rest of this set. And my organs. Yep. And my organs are expensive. It is not horrible. We have filmed most of the videos uh, that on this channel with it. Almost all of them, some B-roll and other stuff has been filmed with other cameras, but it's pretty, it's pretty fine. My personal opinion on most cameras today is that like generally most cameras are so good that they like on phones, that it's very incremental changes. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad camera. You can get some pretty decent shots. The camera, I'd rate it out of like modern technology, like a good solid six or seven out of 10, like my X. Probably the thing I hate most about my phone is that it will randomly just break. I am not kidding. I think it's an update, but it won't tell you. It'll just stop. Woo, Apple, great job. Another thing is I have, I've done YouTube for a little while and I've had to transfer files over a lot. For some reason, and this could be an Apple or a Windows or a they hate each other type thing, but essentially, it won't work sometimes. Even with iTunes, it'll just decide, I'm not gonna work, and then it won't. Just for like a solid three days. I've had to delay an entire like school project because I couldn't get my device photos or images or videos to my computer. And that is probably the thing I've hate most about this entire process. Just in general, the low RAM kind of sucks. I don't think like it's ever impacted me significantly. It has certainly like I can kind of tell sometimes that it's a little bit slow. Um, gaming is not ideal. Some some stuff will just crash. And it's, everything will just crash occasionally. Oh, there is one thing I can actually genuinely attest to this, and this could be. The fact that I have an OtterBox case, uh, OtterBox. If you'd ever love this, uh, I have many nice things to say about you for a price, um, but I have like straight up thrown this thing and it has been fine. I've dropped it like dozens of times, really like dropping it. I've like dropped it down like hard stairs and it's never, I've never had a scratch on the screen, screen protector. I've never, which I mean, maybe, I don't know what screen protector this is, but I've never had a scratch, a crack and compare that to like the titanium foam where you could, you know, I feel like that's a pretty good selling point. This little thing is compact and I could probably do that and be fine. I'm not gonna do it because I'm not, I'm not an idiot. But I don't like particularly try to treat my phone well, but like I'm always very much like conscious of where it is at all times. I'm very much like, okay, is it in my pocket? Is it secure, not falling out? Shins ears, woo! Probably my favorite part of iPhones in general. The only reason I would like ever choose one. The other thing is that iOS is just like, I think it's just like a cleaner experience. There are some things that are definitely way weirder than Android, meaning most of it, again, Siri, hello, but I will say, I rarely do have any problems. Like, yeah, they come up and they're annoying, but most of the time, it's a pretty clear, clean experience. Like, I haven't had much, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'd say, like, maybe one time a month, maybe two to three at max on a bad month, you have problems, but even then, it's like, an app will just close, and then you're like, okay, then you reopen it, and it's fine. So, generally, it's actually a really clean, fine experience. I rarely have too many problems. I would recommend that if you are on a budget, this would not be a horrible phone. I'd recommend getting the Pro or something that would last a little bit longer, but it wouldn't be a bad choice. If you get one for hand-me-down, or like a hand-me-down, or like something like that, it's a fine phone. It's not a bad phone, and it's kind of just like as a viable option if you really like, it's it's like a, a decently viable option if you're not going for a new one. Ah, cool, I look better now. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, then make sure you hit that like button. And if you really liked it, then you should consider subscribing. If you want to help support us financially, then you can use the link in the description to tip us. Uh, tipping helps a lot, and you even get your name featured in videos for a month. Here are the people that have tipped us since the last month. And if you want to see new content from us in the future, then make sure you hit that notification bell. But while you're waiting for new content to come out, why don't you go check out Jake's AirPods Pro review. It's a very interesting review. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Pounded noggin.
Let's see ya. Pound it! Uh, noggin again! I don't know how that actually looks.